Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to get data from Google Sheet in MIT App Inventor in our app. So you can get data from Google Sheet and you can show it and use it in your app. So let me show you a demo of the app. So as you can see, this is list of items app and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the data from Google Sheet. So now you'll be able to see my Google Sheet where I have put 10 items, item 1 to item 10. So I'll click on get data in the app and now you can see that all the items are visible. So once you change it in the Google Sheet, you can again click on get data and it will be updated over here. So this gets the data from Google Sheet. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and easy. So if you want to create fantastic mobile apps, start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon. So here you can see I have a blank spreadsheet. So I'll just type some random items like item 1 to item 10. So I'll put item 1 over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag this to the 10th cell like this. And now you can see we have 10 items. So we are going to get this data. So now at the top go to share and over here you can see we need to name the Google spreadsheet before we can share it. So you can put any name you want. I'm just going to put items. Now click on save. Next what you need to do is you need to make this Google sheet to click on change to anyone with link. What this will do is this will make the link public so that anyone can on the internet with the link can see the Google Sheet. So now I'm going to copy the link. Next, go to a text editor like Notepad. So I'm going to use Notepad and copy the link which you have copied. Just cop copy and paste it over here, the link which you have copied over here. Next, what we are going to do is we are going to remove the last part till the edit. And over here, what we will do is we will put export and then put a question mark. And after the question mark, format equals to csv so what this will do is this will bring the format as a csv list so that we can show it in the list view so it will convert this table into a csv list and it will show it so make sure you save this link or keep it over here because we 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 need this link later while we are working on the project in mit app inventor now back in mit app inventor what we are going to do is we will first put the title I'll bring in a label and over here I'm going to put list items. I'm going to make the font to be bold and let me increase the font size of this to be 30 like this. Next I'm going to make this to be centered of screen 1. So over here change align horizontal and align vertical to be center like this. Next we are going to bring in a list view where we will show the list of the items from Google Sheet. So what we will do is under this list view we are going to put a button and we will put the text of this button to be get data I'm going to make the font to be bold next the important component which you need for this is the web component which you can find at the connectivity section so let me just drag in the web component and over here what we will do is we are going to get all these items in CSV format using the web component so first you need to enter the URL over here so as you no, we have created a link by changing this to export format equals CSV along with the link of your Google Sheet. So just copy this link and then we are going to paste it over here in the URL text box. Now let's go to the block section. So first we are going to create a variable called items. So let me rename this to be items and we are going to set this to be an empty list like this create empty list. So this is the list where we will get the data from the Google Sheet and we will show it. Next what we will do is when button 1 is clicked. So button 1 is the get data button. So when a user clicks on the button, we will go to the web component. And over here you will be able to see a block called web.get. This one. So just bring in this block. What this will do is this will get the data from the URL which we have given over here which is the Google Sheets URL and after it gets the data so let me go over here and I'm going to bring in this block when web1.gottext which means that 
the web one component has got the text or the data what we will do is let's go to items and we will set items to over here i'm going to go to lists and let me scroll down and you'll be able to see a block called list to csv table this this one so i'll just bring in this block and put it over here so as you can see there are many other blocks which are similar to this block so if you put some others it will not work so make sure you put this one list from csv this one list from csv table text and over here what we will do is we will put the response content so the response content is the these items over here so what we will do is it will give it as a csv table and we will convert it into a list so as you can see list from csv table using this text now after we convert it and after we store it in this global items variable what we need to do is we need to show it in the list view so for that over here i'm going to set the list view elements to like this i'll bring it over here and the elements is going to be global items like this now now you can see that the app will work because it will get the items and then it will show it in the list view so here you can see the app i'm going to click on get data to get all the items from the google sheet now you can see that all these items are visible over here now i'm going to change the data of the google sheet right now so let me delete all of these items by dragging it over here and clicking on the delete button and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a date like 1 1 20 22 like this and then now what i'll do is from here i'll drag it till the 12th cell and now you can see that it, the dates are visible so you can also extend it more so now let's see if this is updating in the app so here you can see the app i'm going to click on get data button again to see if it is updated as you can see the list is updated and now it shows the dates which we have entered in the google sheet now there are many other things which you can do with the web component so as you can see there are many blocks so if you want you can also if you have stored a file in a cloud storage or any other place you can just you can just get the file so you'll, you'll be able to see like as we have used the web viewer one dot get option you can see that we can also get the file and you can see there's a block called web dot got file the same way there are many other options to do so for example if you want to store items or if you want to add items here in the google spreadsheet you can use this post text which will post the text to the given url so if you want a clear tutorial on the web component put it in the comments below and i'll create one soon next you need to learn how to get and store data in cloud db so for that watch this video about chat app in mit app inventor and also watch my full course of mit app inventor to create more apps